What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a special day for me. I just got the HP Reverb G2 delivered to my door today. So I am elated right now. I am so happy. I am seriously, I, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I think I seriously came in my pants earlier when I opened the box. So I'm really excited. This is my first gameplay video. It was a bit of a hassle to set everything up, but, you know, I held on and I basically persevered through the setup process. I had to look up a couple of videos, instructional videos, and uh, yeah, I got it going. So now I am going to test the gameplay and the video recording out. I'm used to using the Oculus Mirror via through the Oculus store or the oculus platform to play and record gameplay videos because i had the rift s before but now with this brand new headset now i can use steam vr and i'm not very uh uh acclimated to using steam vr along with obs so it's gonna it's it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve and trial and error to get everything set perfectly so um yeah i'm using the steam vr i don't know what is it the mirror settings whatever it's called and uh it's on obs it's kind of it's cutting off the sides a bit so i tr hit transform on obs and i clicked on to stretch instead of uh automatically adjust what is it i think it's called stretch to view or whatnot and not like automatically crop or fit to view so stretch to view it's stretching everything out and let me see i'm looking at the software right now yeah it seems to be okay so here we go headset is on everything seems to be a-okay steam vr is running my hodis seems to be running correctly so i'm gonna i'm gonna check out i don't know hmm he tray out I guess multiplayer. I I gone through the story already. Fleet battles. Yeah, fleet battles versus AI. Or let me see. Let's practice. Okay, this is just training. Tutorial. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to try fleet battles versus AI. Hopefully. Oh, up. Hopefully, I can find someone to play with. Okay. And start matchmaking. Oh, hope my flight stick and HOTUS is going to run correctly. See if my microphone is on and it's recording. And I set a whole bunch of filters on the OBS. Anybody wants a tutorial, it seems to be working pretty decently. I was using Audacity as my recording software earlier, but. It was a bit of a pain in the ass because I would have to kind of time it where I would press two buttons at the same time where I would right click or left click on my mouse on to record the audacity piece I had it on my right side and I would map caps lock on my keyboard to start recording automatically on um, uh, through a hotkey. I had caps lock as a hotkey to start recording on my OBS and it's like it's wasn't hard but it's just it was just pain yes ass. but now i just have it mapped to the caps lock and i just it's one click and that's it which is pretty cool and i it records my voice and i set it up in such a way where when it records it records the gameplay or the desktop audio you know whatever i hear on my headset plus it keeps my voice track as a separate track so when I edit the video in my DaVinci Resolve, I can see separate tracks and I can kind of tweak each track accordingly, you know, in terms of adjusting uh, the volume and whatnot and the gain. So that's, that's definitely a, a very handy tool. And I added a whole bunch of filters that makes the voice, your voice sound, you know, professional, as they say, or at least cuts out 
any background noise via noise gate. I added noise, I would add compressor, noise gate, noise suppression, limiter, and I even added the equalizer so I can adjust my voice to my liking. Like add, you know, a bit of bass, maybe some middle tones or treble. So it, it seems to be working pretty well. I got really used to Audacity as well, but the process after the video was a bit of a pain in the ass because I would have to stop each thing manually, like stop the recording through the caps lock, and then I would have to go on to my actual computer and then physically stop the audacity. So, and then I would have to adjust all the parameters on audacity, you know, manually, each one, compressor and noise suppression and limiter and equalizer but with the way I set up on OBS now as my voice recording software it just I just have it set automatically so that's it's definitely taken hassle out and the recording process a whole lot easier in terms of editing and whatnot so yeah I know I talk a lot but you know what I'm searching through a match right now so it says it's going gonna, it's gonna to take... I don't know. No, it's counting down. I've been running my mouth for about three minutes now. What I don't like about multiplayer games is because of, you know, the matchmaking. I, I just want to jump into a game and play. Now, patience is definitely not one of my virtues. Uh, yeah, worst case scenario, I'm just going to have to exit it out. Looking for best match. Or if anything, I like this. This has this, this manual IPD adjustment. The interpupillary distance adjuster manually on the HP reverb. Very cool. And this is 68. No, 67 is max. Is it? Uh, let me see. I'm a 63? I don't know. I guess I'm max IPD. 67. Maybe a little less. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or that's bad. I don't know if that means my, my eyes are really far apart. Imagine somebody with a, like 100 IPD. <laughs> like a freaking mutant or something. Alright, let me check to see. Alright, still recording. Eight minutes has gone by, roughly, on my recording. I love the fact that I can lift the headset up. And then I can move it down. It's very cool. Very handy. The sound quality is okay. Um, which is another thing that I really like, too. It's got built-in speakers, and I heard has the same speakers as the Valve Index, so the same developers at the same company also made these uh, headset options available to a Windows Mixed Reality headsets, or at least to the HP Reverb G2, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm curious in-game how the sound quality is. It doesn't seem very loud, though, but it's like over the ear. It's not really touching my ears, which is I'm not really used to. And with the Oculus Rift S I had, is a friggin' pain in the ass. It's just handling the headset in general, because I had these VR... Uh, it's some kind of VR headset that I bought, Stealth VR. I mean, the, the sound quality was really good, the bass was great, but, I mean, it's just... Uh, it was a pain because it was very loose and it wouldn't stay on the headset and I just it was it was very finicky and I would have to plug it into Oculus Rift S um, sound jack it's got a built in sound jack at least which I don't really like about this headset is it doesn't really have a, a built in sound uh, jack like the Oculus does but overall in terms of handling I really find this very convenient it's a, it's a compact, it's a very light headset. Ergonomically feels really good. Um, 
it's it's nice and tight on your head. You're right. I don't really see any screen door effect. They say, I mean, there is. It's there if you like really look for it. But my eyesight's getting really bad anyway, so I can't. I I personally can't really notice it. So yeah, I'll. S I can't wait. Oh, if I can get a match going, I can't wait to see what the gameplay is like and graphically how it looks. If there's god rays or whatnot chromatic aberration, things that it lens flares. And most importantly, uh, graphical performance. You know, my frame rate. He's saying uh, I don't have one of the best GPUs available right now anymore. You know, it's, it, I only have a 1080 Ti. And I mean, so far, it this headset runs beautifully on it, but you know, it's a little premature for me to say or give a valid opinion piece on that matter because, I mean, I haven't actually played any games yet, so this is like literally my first gameplay. So I really want to see how, how the performance is and how I need to adjust the settings. But on the base Windows Mixed Reality settings, I have it on like best visuals, best quality, and it, it, there doesn't seem to be any, you know, any complications. All right, I'm gonna have to cancel this out. I'm I'm impatient. Uh, how do I cancel this? I forgot which is button eight. I have a map of my Hodus. Is that eight? No, that's not eight. Is that eight? There, that's eight. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna try the story. Why not? Restart it, or. I don't want to restart it, but I'll... Okay, you know what? Prologue, here we go. I'm just so excited. I don't want to... I don't want to wait for a friggin' match. It will be done. There's a slight drift. A right rotational axis drift on my Rustmaster, but that was always apparent even in my past gameplay videos. It used to be really bad, but it's it's okay now. I mean it's 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 ever it's really slight. Alright, prepare for launch. Well, looks okay. To be honest I really don't notice a massive difference between this and the Rift S. Look forward and hold 10. Just 10. Calorie headset. And. Is this it? No. I'm just gonna use. Shit. I'm gonna have to use my controller for now, my Xbox controller, just for the calibration. Okay, that's calibrated. Now, hopefully, I can switch checks. over to my flight sick without any issues. Understood. Okay. Systems check. I haven't played this in a while, so it's going to take me a little while to get used to it. Go. Throttle. Sensor, online and tracking. Now, throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. Nice. Okay. Okay. Rotation works. Beautiful. Sound quality is okay. It's not. It's not loud, but 
Then again, I'm, I'm practically deaf because I'm, I'm used to very loud music and loud sounds. IPD, it's, everything's kind of blurry, or maybe it's just my eyesight. I'm getting old. Yes, I'm an old man. Okay. You know, it's running good. There's no lag, it, uh, a little bit, but it's not that bad. I, mean, I don't know if I'm getting 90 frames. I'm, I know I'm getting at least, hopefully, 60. Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. You see, my OBS is still running. Yeah, it is. Access. Here we go. Really a crying damn shame. I just tried GTA 5, the, the real VR mod, and I can't get the HP reverb to work with it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to look online, or maybe I'll go on like Reddit or somewhere to see if there's any instructional bit, uh, instructional like uh, posts, or even on YouTube, any instructional videos on how to get it running. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure the creator of the mod, Luke Ross, has has addressed this, but. There's, there's something I, I probably have to do. Maybe I have to download and install something. I'll figure it out. Yeah, my eyesight's really bad. Everything looks a, l a little bit blurry. It's not the IPD because I've been adjusting it and certain areas makes it a little more clear, but... I want to try... I want to try Elite Dangerous in this. I wonder how it looks. Yeah, I don't really notice a difference. I'll say it again. I don't notice that much of a difference for some reason. I mean, I'm sure it's better than the Oculus Rift S, but in terms of black levels and whatnot, I, I'm not. It's it looks the same to me. Now, how long do I have to follow this dude around? He's giving me, uh, the scenic tour. All systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. The vigilance reports our Gozanti transport is ready. Helix Squadron, head to the Gazanti and dock for hyperspace jump. Copy that. Reach Gazanti cruiser to dock. Alright. Follow down below the Gazanti so its locks can engage. I got a lot of loud background noise, which sucks. Uh, it's my GPU fan. I think I might have my AC on also, I'm not sure. No, I turned it off. Another thing I need to try too is the actual controllers on this. I don't know. I, you know, I'm... I heard the tracking wasn't all that, but... I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge of that for myself. 
I need to I need to play a game with uh probably the most isolated trading post in the sector. With the Windows Mixed Reality controllers or the HP Reverb 2 HP Reverb G2 controllers to see how it works. Tap two to target the ship directly ahead. Interesting. There's a lot of cargo traffic today. Then our convoy might be hiding among them. Agreed. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Vastar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. Consider it done. Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. Scan on them, ship or object, face it and tap. Okay. Wait, wait. We have always been loyal to the Empire. See? We're loyal. I swear. No refugees aboard. Carry on. Check that ship next. Look, I'll pay anything. Just don't impound my ship. No sign it's from Alderaan. Keep looking. So you're not impounding my ship? There. A ship's trying to flee from a simple inspection. We should teach them some manners. All pilots, bring your weapon systems online. All right. Pilot. Weapons online. Use uh, them. Let's see if they're hiding the refugees. Okay. Stop that ship. I don't kill this guy, though. No? Let me kill him. Alright. Cycle through targets. Nice. Can I? My right. Okay, I gotta follow this guy. You'll be up. Okay, divert power lasers. Okay. All right. Targets destroyed. All right, there it is. That's how I do that. I 
heal? There you go, that's the heal. The defense capability is dropping. Where is it? Three. I oh, know I did that already. There you go. Balance. Where the refugees are hiding. On our way. Pilot with me. I had a boost. That boost? No. No, that's my countermeasures on my thumb. Wow, I haven't played this in a while. It's stuck. shield some starfighters like x-wings have regenerating shields you must blast through the shields before you can damage your hull when your aim rate tickle turns from white to red you're shut okay that's pretty obvious yeah, yeah, yeah. where's my missiles Guys behind me? Nope. Right in front of me. Rebel on my tail. That's half the rebel scum destroyed. Where are you going? Where are you going, big boy? Come here. Enemy is down. All right. Where's? Are uh, you trying to get behind me? Uh, I don't think so. Come on. Yeah, the aiming is a little difficult. It's much easier on a on a controller, I'm pretty sure. That's why I'm always getting my ass handed to me in multiplayer games. Well, in this game. 
Uh, where is it? Come on. One last guy. Here you are. Where? The refugee convoy must be hiding in there. After them. We'll deal with you later, Station Master. You attack my station and customers, then blame me? Imperial thugs. Yeah, I really wish the headphones were louder. Any button. All right. Okay. Nice. Catch up with that traitor. Lieutenant Carroll to the vigilance. Captain James is aiding the rebellion. Send immediate assistance. He'll be left the repowered engines. Yeah, I'm gonna pound your ass. That didn't sound right. I'm gonna stop it at this point because I want to I want to check out the video and see how it looks, and I'm gonna edit it real quick and see what it see the quality of the uh, of the video and the frames and everything. So this will be my first uh, upload when it comes to using a different headset. So I'm excited, and I hope it goes smoothly. I don't want to go back to the Oculus. There's nothing wrong with the Oculus Rift. I mean, I, I, I still, I still, I, I still enjoy it. But you know, this is the next newest, latest VR headset. So definitely a new toy. I wish. I don't know how I feel with the over-the-ear headphones, though. All right. Anyhow, okay. Dude, here's uh, here's my cue. I'm gonna stop it. Dude, God, the details look really good in this, by the way. Can anyone make out what he's saying? They're working on it. Okay, Echo Squadron on me. This is Admiral Akbar to Echo Squadron. Oh, wow. I really like the details in this. Admiral, any luck pinpointing that distress call? Hopefully. You may need to get creative. Make sure your fighters are in good shape. Understood, sir. Echo, prepare for system. All right. Check. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits. Uh, take okay. care, everybody, and I will see you in the next video upload. All right. Take care and good night. Bye bye.